Margot, let's talk about your journey with kidney disease. Well, you know, I was very young. I think I was around eight years old. I remember being in grade two, and I just remember my mother taking me to doctors and hospitals and having my urine checked. I was eventually at Sick Kids Hospital, and they did a kidney biopsy, and they found that I had nephritis or Bright's disease or something like this. And uh, Dr. Rands, he was a specialist there, he said, she will live a normal life. She will be fine, but we need to just monitor her salt intake and no major contact sports, like no football contact, backward flips and pulls or things like that, right? Because we just didn't want any injury more to, the, to kidneys. Wow. Well, that's quite a journey, though. So into your teenage years, you were still living with nephritis, right? As a teenager, um, how did it affect? I mean, did it affect your health in any way? Yeah, you know, I don't remember a lot of negatives. I do remember, though, that I was always, uh, I was kind of guided into wellness as far as a profession and things like that. I'm a medicinal herbalist, and um, I've had a business where I create teas for ailments. And so because of being exposed to health issues as a child and monitoring my diet and looking at nutrition, well, though, that's the, the route that I took in life as far as my uh, profession. And so I think that it just guided me to, well, learn how to eat food, taste food really well too. Because without salt, I was going, wow, food doesn't taste too bad. You, you know, like there were some positives there, right? But I didn't experience a lot of effects all the way up. Like throughout my years, I wasn't uh, negatively affected though physically with my health until I was in my 50s again. I want to go back now about six years ago. You were in a quite serious car crash. It ripped my whole leg off. I was in the hospital for three months. I woke up three months later, I'm able to walk and able to dance, thank goodness. Uh, but it was also a time when I was identified with a kidney condition, that my kidneys had weren't functioning well. They were really quite concerned. And they said the stress of the accident was definitely impactful. That was life changing. People said to me, how you doing every day? And I said, it's a learning curve. I woke up today. Wow. How did you feel? What was your emotions at that point? To hear that an accident had the impact of putting so much stress on my kidneys that they were faltering. And um, you do think about dying. You do think that maybe, you know, am I going to pull through this? Every morning I woke up in the hospital, I went, wow, I'm alive. You have no idea, you know, what's going to happen. So, but I, I was always a very spiritual person. And I'm also quite philosophical. And I know that something happens to everyone. And, you know, we have to do our best and we just have to uh, work with our care team and, and, and be strong, but also be sensitive to yourself and, and compassionate. So I really worked with a pretty good team that helped me through it. Health may be one thing that I'm working on, but I also need to balance the other things, my mental health, my spiritual health, my emotional health, my family and friends, you know, my work. So I'm, I'm very sensitized to balancing my life. And so yes, I needed to maybe focus more strongly on this and concentrate and learn because it was a major learning curve, eh? But I'm very holistic and I think that balance is the key. And so I think you take a breath and you just pause and you reflect and you feel grateful and you're thankful for the people around you. You know, that's a big part of everything as well. Sometimes in life you have to go inside and muster up the strength and you've got to get in there and know what your true character is. And that's what you find sometimes. I don't know what the lesson is or if there's a, a purpose to it all. But yeah, I'm, I'm still very grateful for everything that I have.
There's some wonderful messages in there. Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by Kidney Plugged In. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And while you're at it, don't kidney around. Hit that subscribe button right now. It helps us out a ton. If you want to check out the next part in the series, click here. If you'd like to watch other inspiring and heartwarming patient stories, well then slide on over here. Cheers, and we'll see you next time on Kidney Plugged In.